Good morning, and today I'd like to present you this Zebra Tactical Ballpoint Pen. And this is the 0.7 millimeter ballpoint pen that you will see advertised at Staples, Amazon, or other stores that sell pens and other writing instruments. You might even see it at eBay, sometimes even Target and Walmart in your stationary section. So here it is. The first thing that I noticed when I bought this pen, got home, opened it up, was that although I was told it was a tactical pen, Unlike other tactical pens, this does not seem to be made of metal. This is a form of hard plastic. You'll see some advertised that say that they can break glass from the material that they are made from. This is not that pen. So if you're looking for something like that, this is not it. It has a, it's retractable. That's the sound it makes. And that's how smooth You'll hear it. It has this hook right here so you can attach to your journal as well as your lanyard if you have one. Throw it around your neck if you are a writer or in case you just don't want this pen that retails for anywhere from 11 to $15 if you want it to get lost, then you might want to keep it close to you. So you'll notice since it's not made from a very heavy metal i would say most of it is plastic i would say the hook is a form of metal and you can open it here from the front there it is squeeze it screw it back on another thing about this pen it's a fine point pen it writes very smoothly that's one thing. So if you're someone who is struggling with handwriting, I would say if you write with this enough, it might even improve your handwriting without a lot of effort from you. So you get your journal, you start writing down your to-do list. You'll notice that this will start writing very smoothly with l very little effort. It's not going to jot in different directions. And if I'm moving around a bit, it's because I'm wearing shorts and there seems to be a lot of mosquitoes out here at the moment so please excuse that and forgive that uh, you'll also notice that on the packaging it says that it's able to withstand temperatures upwards to 92 degrees which is important not only if you're riding outdoors or if you're using it in a high temperature high heat situation but just know that sometimes you might want to throw it in your pocket or you might just throw it in your pocket without even thinking and if you know, many times when you throw pens in your pocket, just from you walking and the uh, friction between your thigh and your pants and the pen, it might make the ink inside blow up. And that'll be it for your pen or the, the ink that you have inside. And it might even be the end of for your pants. So this is it. This is what you'll be getting if you order it. And what I like to do to prevent such blow-ups is I use pen case or pencil case, writing instrument case, uh, writing utensil case. This one is made out of leather. This was given to me as a gift. It has that nice leather smell to it. If you are an animal rights activist or a vegan, you might not want to purchase this because this is in fact made of genuine leather and or if just somebody who cares about animals this goes in here close it and and you can throw it in your pocket and not have to worry about it being leaked all right and you could another reason why you might want to use a pen case is because it kind of reminds you it's you know pens are something that sometimes you don't get two thoughts about but if you spent about $15 on 
on a pen, it's usually because you take writing seriously or because you just like to have a comfortable writing instrument or it's personal to you as much as is your writings inside your journal. So you want to write something that you are going to maybe even love. And the so it's something you don't want to lose. I, I, personally, I like to carry a pen that I use no matter what for everything. And then I also sometimes carry what I call a lender pen, a loaner pen, or a throwaway pen that it doesn't matter if you don't get it back because you didn't spend a lot on it, you're in the bank and someone wants to borrow a pen, you don't want to give them this one unless you want to demonstrate how it works briefly because you want this one back. The one that you give them might be one that you bought for, I don't know, 20 pack and each pen was about 60 cents each, 25 cents each, and it doesn't matter. The person you're lending it to, they don't really care if they're using the pen for something arbitrary. but. It's a good pen. I like the way it writes. That's the best thing about this pen. The way that it writes, the way that it feels on your hands if it writes. If you see my hand is pretty large. So when I'm grabbing it, it uh, has a pretty thick barrel, but you can, so it, it enables you to maneuver it on the page. It, your hand doesn't run. It's not that flimsy that your hand's going to run on the page while you're using it. Uh, I have not used it in the rain. I don't have paper that is waterproof. I also have not written upside down with this, even though it advertises that you can write upside down with this because of the pressure of this pen, the way that it's put together, the technology behind it. So it has a, as you see here, you can use a hook or you can use this little hole here so you can place a string or a lanyard or something like that. The, the main complaint that I hear people say about this pen is that it does not compare to other Zebra pens in that it does not have a full metal body and the weight is very light. So if that's a deal breaker for you, it's, you don't want to. Then just stick to, the, just stick to the F701, which is this one, which a lot of people compare it to. If you read a lot of re the reviews, you'll see people say, this one has some weight to it, it's all metal, it's a good writing instrument. Personally, I think this one writes better, I think this one feels better. This one writes better, this one feels better. The F701 by Zebra writes better, and that'll be my next video, replacing the ink in this, because I had it in my pocket in a very hot day, I was in a hurry. Someone broke my concentration and I put this in my pocket. By the time I got to where I was gonna get, my pocket was so hot and I noticed, as you may notice with a lot of ballpoint pens, it'll write for a little bit and it stops writing and that's because the ink inside is leaking because it has overheated and now there's a big mess inside the pen. The good thing with this pen is that it contained the leak and it did not leak out into my pants. As far as this one, I've had it in my pocket for a very long time. I have not had any issues with heat. So that's something that I might want to investigate a little bit further. But so far I have no problem with just having this in my pocket without the case in hot situations. Last week in the East Coast, most of the days they were in the upwards of 90 degrees. And I didn't have any issues with that. And that's something, might be something major to you if you don't have a pen case or I don't know, you're outside in the heat, working in the sun. A uh, way to combat that, just like your phone may heat up, you might want to get a lanyard and some other kind of string to use so it won't have to rub against your clothing or your body. So here it is. This is the Zebra X701 pen. It comes with two refills. The ink is black, fine point. If you want to get refills, that's another question a lot of people have. Will the refill ink be as strong as the original? I would say yes, from my experience. But if you buy it from a third party company, it may not. See if it's made by Zebra for the Zebra pen. If you buy it someplace in bulk that is not made for this pen, you might get different results. Tell me what you think. Thank you. If you like the video, like it.
and share it and subscribe and do everything that you can to help this channel. Thank you. Have a great day. Write some things down. Write everything you want to write down. Get it done. Don't procrastinate. Just do it. See you next time. Bye. To do list. I'm going to write in all caps just like my grandfather did. To do list. There. And let's say download software. Okay. There you go. That's writing pretty fast. I'm trying to do it in an everyday situation kind of way. Let's see. Pay for training. And there it is. Pretty much writing pretty fast. I'm skipping a line. And I'll try to write slower for this one. Sleep by 9 p.m. Okay, there you go. And right away, what I'd like you to notice is that it moves like a lighter pen because it is lighter. I do appreciate the, the writing that it gives, uh, but it is very light to your hand. For someone with a bigger hand like me, you want a bigger barrel, a bigger pen in general as far as weight. You want it to be a little more heavy, but you, know, you can do what you can with it. Would I use it to draw? Maybe. Depends on how interesting the meeting is or not. You can doodle and find your own creativity with this pen. So let's try another line and this will be it for this demonstration. Have a nice day. Oh, punctuation. There it is. Thank you.